So hello together. Hey, uh, this is Matthias, and I have now today Alicia and uh, Dr. Terry in the interview. So please, Alicia, introduce yourself and share your experience. Yeah. Hello, my name is Alyssa. I am 34, about to be 35, and I'm from the United States in Florida. I've had MS for. I had MS for almost seven years. It'll be seven years October. And I was diagnosed relapse remitting and then tried to do some different treatments and research and that kind of thing. And then it led me to the day I was with my daughter. Sorry, I'm getting all jumbled here. This is so much pressure. Good, good. Well, the pressure okay. is not so high. Go no, hey, go for it. No, hey, you are good. Thank you for explaining us. Yes. I know. Just, uh, you know, I'm a little. Sound like you told me. Yeah. Okay. No, this is normal. This is absolutely normal <laughs> that ready. we have. That we have. Uh, all, yeah. yeah I, we are I, I, all I, I nervous. Yeah. And, and that helps me. But I've been off it. So. Yeah. Yes, yes, but it's okay. This is absolutely okay, and all people in the world will understand. And we've this. been getting all kinds of medications, like chemo and the steroids, which you just got them today. Wow. And guess what yeah. steroids do? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They make so, me a little, yeah, exactly. a little shaky. Yeah, so. So, so Alicia, no, please continue. This is very nice. All is good. All right, let me backtrack. So my daughter is eight years old. Um, her name's Tegan. I love her so much, and I can't wait to see her again on Sunday. <laughs> Um, I was playing with her. She was almost two years old. We were playing in my mother's front room. She came over and showed me a toy and I couldn't see the toy. It was like kaleidoscope vision. Um, so I reached out, found the toy and then I just, I just held it and I didn't say anything. I was like, maybe I'm tired. I didn't eat enough, I'm not hydrated. And then she came and sat on my lap and my left arm went numb and then it progressed to my leg. Pretty much my whole left side went numb. Um, I didn't tell my, my mom what was really happening because I needed her to watch my daughter because she had a bedtime. And I was a little bit of a helicopter mom in the beginning, I've gotten better. But I told my mom I was going to go to urgent care because these symptoms were, were weird. I was like, migraines don't cause your body to go numb. So I walked into the Center Care Clinic, it's like a local emergency clinic. Okay. I walked in, said hi to the doctor. He asked me how old I was, which I was 20, 28, 27 or 28. I'm really bad at math right now. Um, 27 or 28, and he asked my heritage. I'm Irish. Normally I have very long red hair, yes. which will come back. It's coming back. It's nice it's coming back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe some curls come slowly. Yeah. 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 Looking, right. looking forward to hair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Very good. So he asked my heritage, which is obviously Irish. I'm European 100%. And he said, okay. And you live in Florida. I'm like, yeah. He's like, do you sunscreen a lot? I was like, all the time. And he's like, okay. I want you to go to the hospital because I think you have MS. And that was the first time I've heard MS. Wow. I've never wow. heard that before. Wow. So I stupidly got back in the car and I drove myself to the emergency room because uh, American health insurance is not the best. Um, the amount it would have cost me to take an ambulance to the hospital and be admitted, there's no way I could have done that as a single mother. Like I was so tight on funds. So I drove myself to the ER, walked in and checked in with the, um, the admin, I guess in the front, the charge nurse, I forgot. Yeah. There's some term, okay. um, <laughs> but she took my vitals and then I described what was happening and within a minute they had a stretcher wheeled out, there were three doctors, four nurses, they rushed me back into the emergency room and did a CT immediately. Wow. They did the, the CT because they thought I was having a stroke. So once the CT came back clear, I then got dropped to the bottom of the importance list <laughs> and it took almost eight hours after being admitted to get my my MRI done and that was it was more than it was more than that eight hours it was like two days to get my MRI 
and the doctor, when she walked in, she um, she went in, she said, it's correct, you have multiple sclerosis. I'm like, okay. She's like, I'll be back later. And she left. Wow, and I was, just, just this, just this. She just dropped the news and walked wow. out. She was very what young. a bad story. And, you know, she's very young. She didn't, I don't think she realized like the gravity of that diagnosis. Yeah. And I had never heard about it until, you know, mm. a day before. So you were just looking stuff up online and I'm you're sitting like, there like Googling MS what? and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, at least they diagnosed you that quickly. You know, a lot of people, they'll go for oh, months they didn't, to years. They didn't diagnose me just with the MRI. Oh, okay. So it still took a while to get your final. I got my like results back. They said 30 plus too many to count. Wow. Lesions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And the fact that it said too many to count, I'm like, this is your, your job is to review these you're like, I can count over 30 myself. Yeah, I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> Too many to count. Like, do I have to pay extra to get a number? <laughs> but then they referred me to my first neurologist. I don't remember her name. She was a very kind woman, though. And she said, yes, you have RRMS. I'm like, okay. I Googled this. Um, <laughs> Google, is, Google is our friend, you right? It's a friend and an enemy <laughs> all at the same time. But it's a friend. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So... I saw her, she recommended, I think, Ambagio or one of the other yeah, DMDs, right? Yeah. yeah. So that was the first one I was offered in 2017. And then I looked, I read the data, I read the research, and I was like, this is not for me. The success rate was too low for the list of side effects. For well, the list of side effects, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I already have a lot of like GI issues, like pre existing before my MS diagnosis. So I was too scared to put that risk for such like a 30 to 40 percent chance it'll slow progression yeah. like i don't want to slow it i want to stop it yeah and so then you started i think you told me you started looking into more natural yeah so once i got like you know got the diagnosis did my little google searches then i hopped over to facebook and i found a facebook group i don't know should i mention the facebook group yeah, you can, it's yeah, called, please, please called, go for it. Facebook is a good, good sign, yeah. It's very called good. Um, Healing Multiple Sclerosis Naturally is the name of the Facebook group. And I joined it and I just dove into their file sections. They had research articles, they had dietary recommendations, they had book lists to get. I've, I must have bought 10 or 15 books. I did Walls Protocol, Walls. Overcoming yeah, MS, yeah. I did the... The AIP diet. Yep, yeah. When I was trying to figure out the root cause of my GI issues, so wow. it's a lot. Did you, know? you ever have any testing done, like for food um, sensitivities? I had, yes, I did. Okay. So yeah. we're still not. That's kind of like we're not you know friends, whether or not that yeah uh, works or not. But. Yeah, I've heard it was like with the, it's valid to an extent. Yeah, but, but the, the AIP in walls is 100. percent Yeah. That is 100. percent That's so. I felt the best in my life when I found that protocol and I found my first functional medicine doctor um, and I was like hey I, I want to try to do this naturally he was like 100% he's like do not take the medication he right. agreed with me my fear with the side effects you know having my daughter having you know my whole future ahead of me I was like yes yes yes, yes. and then when it. you when you did all of the functional um, you know treatments and you you know your diet mm -hmm. um, what what made you through that then decide I'm gonna do HSCT? So started with AIP and I went like 100% full force. Yeah. I cut everything out. Mm -hmm. I stopped drinking. I stopped like using any like pain medicine. All the fun stuff. Like, you yeah, all this, all that stuff. I yeah, got yeah, stuff. Yeah. All the things <laughs> that bring stress. But <laughs> once you get over that little hurdle, because I did, you know, I used to enjoy a, enjoy a, a glass of wine or two. I used to enjoy a pack of beer. Cut down significantly though. Yeah. It's been a very cleansing experience here. Save the money too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. What was I saying? I lost track. Oh no, you were so how did you get to the point that you oh, decided gotcha, to do yeah. HSCT? So I did the the AIP diet. I did very, very strict for almost a year and a half, maybe. And I I was too scared to add food back in mm -hmm. at the time. And then I was kind of like, you know, I, I met my, my boyfriend, David, at the time. Um, thank you, David, for, for being there. He's been on the phone with me 45 minutes to an hour plus every single night. <laughs> Very good. He sat with me through some rough, rough nights. So I'm good. Very oh, thankful gosh. for him. 
This, I, this I must add also, I must thank you to my group in Germany. Hey, this was amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me. This uh, helps me a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. This is really thank amazing you. Thank work. you so much. Yeah. yeah. And then when you, um, I guess doing that, did you say, well, I, I want to go all the way? So no, with, the, with the new boyfriend, it's hard to date and go out on dates and go out to dinner and adhere to that diet because right. it's so restrictive. Oh. So I started cheating here and I cheat there and I would have one snack here. Yeah. The next thing I know, I gained, you know, quite a bit of weight, which a lot of people refer to as comfort weight when you get settled sure. in a relationship. But no, I was just, I had a very bad relationship with food and I feel like this experience has also made that better for me. So it was first I've been able to eat a meal and not have it come back up. Oh yeah. So, so then you decided the HSCT was like the way to be able to live your life normal? Yeah. Because because I know when you talk when you talked to me like when we first met, you said fatigue was really, really bad. Yeah, number one. And for me, same thing. It's like, you know, being a physician, I see 30, 40 patients a day, so that's not a good thing to have. Um, so and especially heat fatigue, you know, like being in yeah. Florida. Oh my gosh. Air so, conditioner has to work. So it's like you will do anything to not have that anymore. Yes. So um, it's like, I don't want to take a medication, but I would like to cut this out. And so this is Definitely. kind of the way to cut it out. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I think I first heard about HSCT just when I was just deep diving in research. I read it and I heard about this place and I was like, huh, interesting. And then I saw the price and Seven years ago, no way it would have been possible. Or so I thought. Last year on my birthday, I was out with my parents and they both agreed to help me. Oh, oh very good. Yeah. 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 Very good. Very I emptied good. my savings Thank account. you, parents. Yes, thank, thank you. you Mom, Debbie, but it's so Jim. worth it. You're gonna, your life, is, I mean, you, your work, uh, being healthy, is, I mean, it's millions over your lifetime, literally. Like, you know, we, I do a lot of investing and like with the, insurance inside of it and so being healthy oh my gosh like this, yeah. this is a drop in the bucket yeah. so um so you definitely did the right thing this was definitely like a like a hard reset is how i've explained it to my family i'm like they're gonna wipe out some of my immune system take some stem cells yeah. wipe out the rest of my immune system give me back my stem cells so it's i'm viewing this as like a second chance so we reset. and we do, and that's that's how it works. Um, it, it literally resets your immune system. It's it's not that we don't know what causes MS. We know for a fact it's your immune system. We just don't know what the trigger is, like what causes the MS to attack uh, your myelin. Um, you know, there's theories: virus, bacteria, um, uh, different parasites. Um, so when we when we look at you know well, why you know what is causing this, which is your immune system. Um, the way I look at it is any patient I look at when I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with them, uh, if you um, are doing general medicine, you use a mnemonic called MENT-C, so metabolic, infectious, neoplastic, traumatic, congenital. So the metabolic part, um, you know, and I look at it in light of whatever is causing this MS, you need to treat each part, right? Any of those factors that could be causing it. So metabolically, um, you eat right with your diet, supplements, um, work out, um, and make sure your hormones are right. You have to do those things. So metabolically, you have to set up your, your uh, body for success to heal. Um, infectious, um, there's so much literature out there on that being, you know, root cause. Um, you treat that. Um, there's there's uh, Pam Barth is big. There's a lot of different doctors that can treat that, but you need to treat with strong medications, ivermectins and different um, dewormers, um, but you take it like five at the same time, you do it over, you know, so many months, so many treatments. So you're treating metabolic, uh, infectious. The neoplastic part to me is just like with leukemia, um, you, it's, it's the immune system attacking yourself. For me, this is our immune system attacking ourselves. So even though it's not cancer, the only way to get rid of that part of it is to do this treatment. Okay. So the only way to get rid of these cells attacking your body is to do this treatment and this treatment gets rid of them. So you have four rounds of chemo to kill all of the bad um, uh, immune cells, and then you have um, the um, rituximab injection, uh, which also does it. HSCT, the name, hemat uh, hematotactic stem cell therapy, that's really, you don't even need that for this treatment. If you just did the chemo with the 
rituximab, you would still have the same result. It just takes about three months to be, you're, you're under neutropenia for three months, it's much higher risk. So when they give you your stem cells back, it jumpstarts your immune system. So it comes back within seven to 10 days. So that, that's the only reason they developed that for it. So, but more people would be like scared if they're like, we're chemo and then we're, you know, so they just say, oh, it's HSED. So no, that's so, so they're basically, so you're stopping, you know, the immune system, um, you know, restarting it. Um, and then, you know, when you look at traumatic stuff, you know, somebody, you know, could have had like a spinal injury, something like that, that that's not very common, that that would be the, the cause. And then um, congenital uh, people that have it need to think about their kids because their kids have about a, a four times more likely chance of getting it. But that's, you know, if they do, then anybody that's been here knows, come right here. Because if you, the earlier you treat, it just goes away. So you don't have to be worried for your kids, right? And it's probably gonna be even 10 times better by the time they do it, you know, they, they will have that cure. So um, you have to, you know, keep all those things, um, you know, uh, you have to think about all those things when you're, you know, trying to deal with MS and get rid of it. And if you change all those, you're gonna see a difference and you're gonna see a big difference. And there's people here me included that have already seen the big difference like I've, i can walk i can do 20 minutes before i came i can do an hour now wow that's in one it's amazing yes yeah. it's 100 amazing but i've heard but i've heard so many other people like with the uh you said your numbness stopped my, in your feet it's my been tingling there for, my yeah. tingling in my feet it's been like seven years i've had it and it stopped it's already gone and like so I, I feel my feet again he, there's a lot of people already getting wow. better while they're here and yeah. i've heard that before i came um and the girl that he talked me into it, you know, that's running marathons now that couldn't walk before she came. Yeah. Same thing, when she left, she left her wheelchair and her um, cane. When she left, she just left it here because she was able to walk after the treatment. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, <laughs> that, that tells you right there. Maximum yeah. amazing. Right, and so, and, and then it's so important what you do afterwards. So that's the most important part. What you do afterwards um, is gonna make all the difference because what I do as a physician is I'm a wound care specialist. So um, the wounds, you know, on the uh, uh, body are no different than on your spinal cord, other than there's no bacteria. Um, but the underlying cause of a chronic wound is chronic inflammation. And that's, that's caused by your immune system, um, the neutrophils there. So with wounds, we debride all that off. We debride down to healthy red tissue without all those immune cells causing chronic inflammation. And once we do that, it can heal. So it can't heal until you take it away. So with um, HSCT, you're taking the inflammation away so that your body can finally heal. And so it's important when it has this chance to heal that you're eating right, taking supplements and making sure to take your hormones and working out. But that signals your brain to rebuild. Yeah, thank you, thank you Jerry. But uh, I would like to say, uh, you will explain it in a separate video yeah. and you will share it and uh, this comes to the, then to, to the YouTube channel right. for all the patients uh, who would interested in the ACT and how to cure. Uh, right. then, then we have all information together. Would you like to do this, please? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, thank you, Terry. I feel very lucky to have Terry in my group. This, this is 100% <laughs> the in my, best. Not in my group, the patient. We, we arrived together and uh, we had our last uh, infusion together and we'll be flying together. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just, and we, we did, and, and this we was both my, grew up in Florida. My so. third reschedule, too. Oh, wow. And I pushed the date back because I was trying to make sure my daughter was good. That's awesome. And she's had an awesome summer with her, like her dad, her grandpa, her nana, her papa. So. Same thing here. The kids, I was just like, they have so much going on in the summer. They I was yep. like, hey, I'm going to leave. They're going to go back. right to camps and like, they're going to, they, they won't even know. So. Yeah. So, uh, I would like to say, hello MS people, find all out, the internet is full of information, uh, you can have a few uh, about our videos here, this is unplugged, so go for it, if you have any question, text to Terry, text to the Facebook, uh, yeah, everybody will like to help you, uh, we finished it now. And I'm very happy and yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely, my pleasure.